what's up fellas gang so good morning it is currently like 10 30 here in pa also happy international women's day period because all my female girl bosses out there i am saluting all of you guys today and i just want to say keep doing what you're doing you are doing amazing even if you think your business isn't going anywhere or you think you know you're in a standstill keep pushing and keep going don't just you know become great overnight it's going to be a process and your journey is going to be different than someone else's journey so stay consistent stay motivated stay positive and just keep going like there's no reason why you shouldn't keep doing what you do if you have a passion for something chase it you have a passion and dream that you want to accomplish go for it there's nothing you can't do in this world we live in a world where we have access and just so many opportunities that we can take advantage of so keep doing it for today's video we are going to be doing how i take my product pictures and how you can accomplish product pictures that are so simple so easy and it doesn't even have to be nothing extravagant i don't use no big studio i don't use big cameras like in a lot of people like do you use your camera do you use your phone like do you have like backdrops like what do you use for your pictures and I got y'all, so I'm about to give y'all an inside scoop of what I do for my pictures, how I set it up, and stuff like that, so you guys can get creative and take some bomb product pictures for your products. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys are following me on all my social media, Instagram, I am Shalissa Marie, Snapchat, PrincessGirl18, and Twitter, XYShalissaXOX. And of course, please don't forget to follow me on my business page, show us Marie Cosmetics and engage with me. I love to meet you guys and make some new friends and just connect and network because that's what it's about. And um, yeah, if you have any like questions or, you know, you need motivation or anything, you can DM me. I'm always open to, you know, helping any girl boss out there. And that's what my job is to do, to help inspire, teach and help others learn. Um, you know, the insides and outs of entrepreneurship. I'm still learning and, you know, I've done so much research and I've learned so much from being in entrepreneurship so I have so much knowledge to give to the world and I'm just so happy to be able to share my tips and my knowledge with you guys so yes and of course please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and become part of the followers gang I would love to have you here if you love these kind of videos I can do more with them let me know what kind of videos you want to see any more entrepreneur videos I can get them up Comment them down below and I will get them up for you guys. And with all of that being said, I look crazy in the bonnet, don't care. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into how I take my product pictures. Okay, so let's get into actual things that I use for my background. So as you guys see, I have a ton of backgrounds that like i literally get all kinds of my orange you know some for christmas but right now we are on st patrick's day so i have all of my greens and blacks old backdrops um these are all cardstock i got these when ac moore was in business now you can find these at any craft store um they have tons of colors you guys see i have a variety a collection for all the seasons i do you know christmas thanksgiving fall winter spring summer um saint patrick's day any holiday that's my business theme i decided to you know correspond with the different holidays and i take product pictures for the season or holiday that we are in so yes cardstock 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 you're gonna get some of that these literally range from like a dollar 99 cents like literally get you some cardstock and take some bomb pictures so this is step one this is step one to getting some nice product pictures so let's get into the actual setup okay let's talk about the setups y'all know i am not no fancy um this ain't no photo shoot listen i am the photo shoot i am the photographer so know that i'm in my window literally in front of my house you'll see the air conditioner and i have just another it's literally a space heater literally y'll see the heater it's a heater and i have two ug boxes i literally work with what i have and they come out beautiful as if i was in the studio so get you a nice little setup it doesn't have to be nothing special i y'all see i'm using ug boxes size seven y'all see size seven so literally get you a nice setup and um look at how beautiful the backdrop is glowing with the natural light i prefer natural light over artificial even though i do use them for filming i use them 
I prefer natural light over um, artificial for product pictures. I feel like it just looks better and the product, just the quality and the outcome comes out beautiful. So let's get into some props that I use and how I would set up for St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of setups that I did and I'll throw up some pictures of some, you know, pictures I took out with the different backdrops and you can see how beautiful they came out. So let's start with this one. I did um, some beads, you know, for St. Patrick's Day and then I did a couple other ones. I'll show you guys. Let's get to it. Okay, so here are my glosses that I have left in stock from, you know, the six that I normally have. So left to right, we have Cashmere, Cine Swirl, So Coco, and Boy Bye. So yes, here are my glosses. Shot with me, the Glock quality is amazing ultra smooth non-sticky um highly glossy creamy buttery and just they smell delicious so shot with me and um yeah let's get you some gloss so let's set up with this one i did this one with i believe so coco so let's do that so let me put these aside so i don't know what they be talking about doing this fancy little photo shoot listen until i get rich we gonna make it work even when i get rich i'm still gonna be doing this i don't care so, we are going to just lay the beads out just in like a nice little, you know, old fashioned, little festive. Then, we are going to just place So Coco right in the center, right here. And boom, that is literally it. Now, let's take some pictures on my main phone and we're going to show you guys the different angles you can get using this one. So, this is the first shoot. And I'll throw some pictures and yes. Okay, so some features you're going to want to use on your phone. So I have the iPhone um, 12, you know. So I'm going to show you guys some features that you can use on this that are, you know, get you guys some really good pictures. So you're going to go up here to the little arrow. And it's going to drop down to this setting right here. You're going to make sure this is off. Live, you don't want live photos. You need to keep that off. They're going to become blurry and they're just going to be moving. It's just not it. So keep live photos off. Make sure you check that when you're taking pictures. So flash, keep it off. Flash doesn't work all the time. Certain pictures, certain settings, you can get away with it. But, but if you are taking pictures, you know, you want to make sure the flash is off. So flash is off. Um, then you're going to go down here to where it says 4 um, colon 3. And this is my main thing, square, 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 square. You're going to get click square so you don't have to edit or crop it. It'll automatically be cropped when you um, take the picture. So it'll go right on Instagram. You don't have to crop it or nothing. So that's perfect. So, so when it comes down to taking this one, boom, get the angles. You know, get the little different angles. Take a couple different ones. And I'm filming this on my phone right now, y'all, because um, my camera is dead. And yeah, so <laughs> I work on my phone. I feel like it just works easier anyway. It's more like a vlog. So honestly, I like it like this. So yes, just take the picture, set up the backdrop like this. Get the picture, use the settings that I told you guys, and then just snap away. Get the different angles, you know, make sure you get your logo in it and stuff like that. So, this is the first setup. Let's get into the other ones that I did. I'll show you guys my props and stuff that I use. And we'll also get into some apps that I use to edit. Okay, so this is the next setup I came up with. This is literally the box that my, um, this one brand sent me for a collaboration. And I loved the inside of it you know it's green and also i just had this fuzzy little confetti so i was like hmm we can use this so i used this for to advertise um and take pictures of my new trio which is cashmere cine swirl and boy bot i know i'm so coco i'm sorry um my three brown glosses go in a set and i wanted to get some good pictures with them so my props that i use i had got these from um party city some little you know gold and um, green chips so you can use these to take some product pictures i also have got this little shot glass from i believe ac more party city um just to take some pictures with some glosses in it and stuff it comes out really nice i'll show you guys the setup i used for this and yeah so be creative y'all you know get you some beads stuff like that like i use things like this and it comes out beautiful like people think you literally 
paid someone to do this or used a big camera or something and really you can take some nice video and photos on your phone and i love that so okay so the next one i'm going to show you guys is how i did my new trio set i'm sorry do you hear a school bus in the back the kids is in school so disregard that but so i basically set center swirl in the middle as the point so i know how to go off of after that then i took so coco over here and then i just matched cashmere right there so then after that i took me some coins and got festive and i just dropped some coins around it and look how beautiful that setup looks it looks like a professional would take pictures of this and you know this is all handwork like literally it's so easy you can do this by yourself come up with some really easy you know props photo shoots make you some really nice things you can take pictures in you know for your products you know when it's not even a holiday just for your everyday feed this is just beautiful and you would think you know this took forever to create or somebody would have to take pictures of this but you can do it yourself and this is so easy i would throw up some pictures of this one so this is the second setup i had for the glosses all right y'all so this is another set um this is another setup i did this one is just super simple it doesn't really you know require a lot sometimes i do basic shoots and stuff like that so i'm taking the shot glass and i'm just placing it right here and then i'm going to layer the glosses so this can show and showcase all of you know the glosses you offer or products you offer and sometimes you know you gotta work with it so it doesn't roll but in the end the photos look really really good so just be patient with it take your time and just perfect it So something like this is so nice and just gives a raw, you know, vision of the glosses, the pure color, the label, you know, it's neat, it's festive, it's in coordination with the color. So this is another um, basic but really nice setup that you can use, play around with it. You can add, you know, confetti in the background, you can add uh, glitter or whatever you want so to make it fancier. But this is another setup I did and yeah. All right, guys, and the last one I'm going to show you guys, um, you know, you can be creative with however you do these, you know, um, but this one is for single shoots. Now, this is what I would use for my main feed. Like, this isn't for a holiday or nothing. This is just a main feed um, to, you know, advertise a shade or a color. Um, so, what I do is, for instance, I'll do cashmere. This is my second bestseller, so I'll show this one off like I did in the picture. So, first get creative with your brand i had got these diamonds um from i believe like ac moral party city so what i decided to do was first let me move this because i put this down first put the diamonds so once you you know figure out how you want it and stuff come up with a little setup i then put cashmere in the middle of the photo shoot so it's given a very luxurious effect when it comes into the shade and my aesthetic and my um, brand colors are diamonds you know glitter rhinestone stuff like that so this is something I would use as you know a prop to show off the print the, the product and another thing I did with cashmere um, is I would model it like this so I would take product pictures like this taking it you know in the diamond so they would be able to get a swatch as well as the full colors so this is another way you can advertise your colors and your shades you know get creative so this is another backdrop I would use and I'll throw up some pictures I used with this one they came out beautiful so yes this is another staple let's get into the swatches please and thank you so of course in a swirl cashmere boy bye and so coco are in stock shop with me guys my glosses are amazing amazing quality you're going to be in love with them and just this formula is just beautiful so 
check them out smariecosmetics.com yes you're going to love them i have a shade for all skin tones and yeah they look beautiful on all skin tones so check them out okay so let's get into some apps that you need for your business um these are going to be staples they are definitely mandatory for your business so first i have pixar pixar is a great app where you can remove things from the background um you can uh, use their text you can do all kinds of things that is like a multi-purpose app they have tons of features on there that are very useful and the a lot of business owners use that app so my favorite app that i use for like you know putting together templates for flyers and stuff is called over over to yellow with a white circle this one is great when you want to add text they have you know different backdrop they have blank templates they have um all kind of stuff on there they're really really great um, canva same thing these all kind of do the same thing are all my multi-purpose but my personal favorite is over um canva and eh, i it's okay i feel like i can do more with over but um canva is good too it's pretty much they're all they all offer the same things, but you just got to figure out which one is your favorite. Eraser is a great app to have. Um, you can take the background out of pictures. I love that one. Also, my personal favorite I just started using is called Bazaar. I will actually bring it up. This app called Bazaar is amazing. Literally, you can do so much with it. It's free. Um, you know, you have to pay for it if you want to, you know, get different features. But this one, oh my God, I love it. Literally if you want to make you know like intros and stuff you need this app i'm telling you it's so easy to take the background out literally it's in seconds you hit the magic button and it's all gone like literally and if it misses something you can just you know go in and fix it but this is top tier app you need this one please download it another good one i have this on my main phone i don't have this on this phone this is my business phone um it's called uh retouch and like you can do so much with this app you can remove physical objects from the picture like as it's showing you there was a thing there and now it's gone this is an amazing touch retouch is a great app removes anything from the background so if you have you know taking a picture and there's something in the background you can take it out with this app and it's completely gone love it this is another good one um back to my phone um fonto everybody's favorite fonto is an amazing app as well um this is standard every business owner has it so yes y'all that is it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a big thumbs up let me know in the comments if you're going to use any of these tips any of these apps let me know because i just came through with y'all and dropped some gems for you guys don't forget to follow me on instagram i am shillis marie snapchat princess girl 18 and twitter xox shillis xox business page shillis marie cosmetics please follow me and connect with me i would love to make some new business friends i am also doing small business promo so if you have a business and you would like for me to promote it on my youtube please send me a package it is below my p.o box is below and of course please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become part of the followers gang i would love to have you here so you don't miss out any more bangers and hit that post notification bell to be notified when those bangers drop and with all that being said if you have any more video requests for me to do let me know in the comments and i will get it up for you guys and with all that being said and i will catch you guys back in my next video bye everyone Mwah.